Hi guys, today I'm here to talk to you about the one percenters and why they don't matter. So what do I mean by that? Well, say for example, you're wanting to lose weight. You jump online and do a little bit of research and all of a sudden you're faced with all of these issues. We're thinking about fat burners, when the right time to eat is, how much and what sort of cardio we need to do and whether I'm eating the right carb to fat ratio. So it can be very, very complex, but in the scheme of things, these things don't matter. What we need to focus on is the 99 percenters, so the real big deals. We're thinking about how much we're eating, so we really need to consider about being in a calorie deficit. We're thinking about strength training, protein intake, getting enough sleep, and controlling our stress levels. So if we're thinking about losing weight, try not to get sidetracked by those one percenters. In reality, carb to fat ratio doesn't really matter if we're not in a calorie deficit. Cardio doesn't matter if we're not doing strength training to try and lean, gain lean mass and increase our metabolism. It doesn't really matter what time of the day we're eating, especially if we're not hungry, because again, it comes down to being in a calorie deficit. So try not to get bombarded and overwhelmed with all of these sort of health and fitness gurus um, and the tactics that they're using to lean down or gain weight um, and really focus on the bigger picture. So again, we need to be focusing on how much food we're eating. So you might want to track your food or create a food journal for a health professional to look at. Have a really good look at the type of exercising that you're doing. So strength training should be king. Cardio should follow, if any cardio, depending on your goals. Uh, and we also really need to look at the amount of sleep we're getting, the amount of water that we're getting, and also what sort of stressful environment we're under. These are all going to impact on our overall health and our overall success at weight loss. So it's best to talk to somebody who is a professional in the field and try not to get too overwhelmed with all of the information online because a lot of the time they're not always correct and they aren't always showing you the bigger picture towards uh, your health and fitness goals.